Bethpage State Park is one of the most popular and cherished public parks in the nation. Located in suburban Long Island, in close proximity to New York City, Bethpage is a mecca for public golf, featuring five 18-hole regulation golf courses, including the world-renowned Black Horse. The Black Horse in particular is a I'm amazed at how many people have this on their bucket list of must-play golf courses. If you want to play a terrific golf course that has hosted, you know, several championships, uh, Bethpage Black is the place to come. But don't be afraid to play the red course or the blue course as well. They're terrific venues to play golf. Not quite as difficult, but you'll have a great time here. In addition to Bethpage Black hosting the United States Open Championships, in 2002 and 2009, it was also the site of the Barclays PGA Tour events in 2012 and 2016. In 2019, Bethpage will host the PGA Championship and the Ryder Cup in 2024. It has a long and fascinating history that gives the park another layer of uniqueness. The park was developed from an estate owned by the Yoakum family and other surrounding properties in Farmingdale. The Yoakum family leased their estate to the Lennox Hills Corporation, which subsequently built the Lennox Hills Country Club. When Yoakum died in 1929, there was a conflict over usage of the leased lands. The state of New York, under the support of the Long Island State Park Commission, expressed interest in obtaining the lands and purchased an option on the property in 1931. New York was able to assume management of the Lennox Hills Country Club through a lease agreement with the private owners in 1932. However, Bethpage State Park was not officially purchased by the state until May 1934. Jesse Merritt of Farmingdale, a Nassau County historian, had convinced Robert Moses to name the park Bethpage State Park after the 15 square mile tract of land purchased by his ancestor Thomas Powell. Famed golf course architect A.W. Tillinghast was hired to design and oversee construction of the three golf courses, the black, red, and blue, as well as modify the original Lennox Hills course later known as the Green Course. Born in 1876, Albert Warren A.W. Tillinghast is the sixth golf course architect to be inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. The Philadelphia native, who drew inspiration from his time spent with Old Tom Morris in St. Andrews, especially left his mark in the Northeast. In the New York metropolitan area alone, the man they call Tilly left his mark on many modern day courses, including Balthastraw Golf Club, Quaker Ridge, Scarsdale, Sleepy Hollow, Somerset, and Wingfoot. During a career in which his fingerprints touched as many as 260 golf courses in the United States, A.W. Tillinghast has had his designs attached to 50 major championships held at 24 different venues. Tillinghast was not only an accomplished golf course designer, but also a prolific writer. During a 40-year span, Tillinghast published more than 400 articles and contributed regularly to magazines such as The American Golfer, Golf Illustrated, The Professional Golfer of America, and Golfer's Magazine. Due to the increasing popularity and demand for golf, the Yellow Course, designed by Alfred Tull, was opened in 1958. Over 200,000 rounds are consistently played annually on the five courses at Bethpage, all of which start from the clubhouse. With approximately 15,000 golf courses of all different types and sizes in the United States, the black course at Bethpage State Park has consistently ranked among the top 100 greatest golf courses in America from Golf Digest for nearly 20 years. Their highest rank was 26th. Last year, Bethpage Black was ranked the number 8th public course in America.
The origins of the chorus date back to the Depression, but it was in the summer of 2002 that Bethpage Black achieved rock star status when the world's best players teed off from behind the park's elegant clubhouse and struggled to stay anywhere near par. The 102nd United States Open Championship from the Black Course at Bethpage State Park. This will be a U.S. Open unlike any other in history because for the first time, our national championship will be contested on a truly public golf facility. Suddenly, every golfer and fan knew about the warning sign, the overnight stays in the parking lot, the shockingly low fees for a world-class course, and the vocal, golf-crazed New York fan base. When the pros are gone, Long Islanders and visiting golfers are left with a 7,468-yard brute that puts every shot and skill to the test. From the middle tees, it's just a short 6,700 yards, nearly as long or longer than many full-length courses on the island. The course conditions today are largely a product of a major restoration led by Reese Jones in preparation for the O2 Open. This was his championship golf course. I mean, the one that he probably thought would be the most difficult to shoot par on. And uh, he sort of copied it from Pine Valley in South Jersey, with, which has a lot of sand. And so he had the biggest bunkers he ever built in, on any of his designs. And so we really reestablished those bunkers. We made them look like they had been in the past. And then we really made the greens a little bit smaller. We shrunk the size of some greens. We added a lot of length and basically turned this golf course into a U.S. Open venue, which will ultimately play the 2019 PGA Championship as well as the 2024 Ryder Cup matches. You go to any, any Tillinghast uh, design golf course, you will see bunkering, you know, which is massive, number one, which uh, is kind of deepish, uh, number two. Uh, when Reese Jones came in and he redid the golf course, uh, he kind of left the, the original bunkering alone. He added some fingering into the bunkers to aesthetically make it look a little bit better. I can tell you this, if you hit it in a fairway bunker, there's no such thing as hitting a four iron or a hybrid out of the bunker to hit it out of the green, because the elevation in front of you is not going to allow you to do that. The bunkering really protects the greens. A lot of the greens are relatively elevated, so you have to fly the ball over the bunkers into the screen surfaces. There's only one hole that really has water, and that's the eighth hole. So it's it's really a sand belt, sandy site that where the ball will run a long way. But at the same time, uh, you have to fly the ball into the greens. And the green contours are subtle, which really kind of drives the pros a little crazy because they can't read them well as they can a more pronounced green. So this golf course has held up very, very well for the two U.S. Opens that have been played here in 2002 and 2009. In fact, I think Tiger Woods in 2002 was the only golfer to break par. Just $75 to play a championship golf course on a weekend morning has to be the greatest deal in golf. And unlike Torrey Pines and Chambers Bay, where out-of-towners pay $240 and $275 respectively, or three times what locals pay, non-resident rates at Bethpage Black cost just $150. With less than five months to go, excitement for the 101st PGA Championship is building in the New York area. The tournament will be played from May 16th to the 19th at Bethpage Black. This comes from an unprecedented agreement between the PGA of America and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Not since 2009 has Bethpage hosted a major championship golf tournament. This is also the first time since 1939 that the PGA Championship will be held on Long Island. Though the tournament does have a history here, as the PGA of America was founded in New York in 1916. And the first PGA Championship was also held in New York. The PGA Championship has always been seen as the weakest of the four majors, but with its new calendar position and such excitement around Tiger this year, Bethpage Black is sure for an electrifying four days in May. Matt, are you excited for Bethpage Black? Here 
pretty good. So, whew, it's cold out here. Through about 13 holes by now. We're getting hungry, people are getting tired, but it's a beautiful course, so we're having fun. State what you just said to me. We're gonna get dinner when we finish at 5.30. <laughs> but we're gonna get a snack before we go to dinner. We'll be lucky to finish at 6.30. And by that point, we just want to be starved to get there. I'd do anything for a calorie. <laughs> How do you feel it's going? I'm so cold. I can't feel my hand. Nothing How does it compare to the first time? It was warmer the first time. Playing wise. It's fun. I like it. Do you do this just so you can say you've done it? Do you actually yes. enjoy it? With the recent resurgence of Tiger Woods' career, arguably the greatest golfer to ever play, many are excited about next year's run of major tournaments. This is especially true for the PGA Championship, since he has won at Bethpage Black before. It's halfway to the slam and his second U.S. Open Championship. Tiger has won the second most majors in history at 14. Only Jack Nicklaus's 18 is better. However, it's been a full 10 years since Tiger's last major victory at the 2008 U.S. Open. With his stellar play during the 2017-2018 season, people are anticipating a return to major wins this season. Many will tune in for Tiger alone, and his success will dictate if the event gets good ratings. According to Nielsen, final round ratings this year of PGA tournaments are up 92% and viewership is up 89%. This is a direct result of Tiger being back in contention this year. Tiger has played 20 rounds on broadcast television this season, and all but one has posted an increase in ratings and viewership. While there are many other popular pro golfers, such as Dustin Johnson and Jordan Spieth, none have the ability to grab non-golfers' attention like Tiger does. Rating predictions for next year's tournaments are some of the highest in history. Many of the golfers you find here are long-term regulars who have been coming for years. So I've been playing golf since I'm 13 years old. So I'm 51 now, and I've been playing golf here since I'm 13 years old. And I got started with my, uh, when my dad took me out when he realized that my baseball career wasn't gonna take off like he, uh, like he thought it would. I always had a knack for hitting, for hitting a golf ball, even as, as a kid at the driving range. And I'm playing this course for 35 years. I played this when this was 
It was nothing but a dream for people to turn it into a U.S. Open course or a PGA course or a Ryder Cup course. There's a familiarity that people enjoy about the courses here. They remember all the shortcuts, pin locations, and secret angles. It's a place that residents can be proud of and feel like they're a part of. To them, it's like being a member of their own private country club. A place like Bethpage Black proves that top-level golf can be available to all people.